Good day, I'm David Morey, talking about my second book, The Leadership Campaign. This is a series of all my books leading up to the new one, Innovating Innovation. Scott Miller and I wrote this uh, about three, four years ago, my partner over 30 years in business, Scott Miller. This book takes the concepts of the first book, uh, The Underdog Advantage, and applies it to you as a leader, a leader of an organization, a business, if you're a CEO. It, 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 it organizes the way you go at the, go at the challenge of operating as an underdog. What we have found is the only way to lead today is as an underdog as an insurgent, as a change leader. In some ways, the leadership campaign is a battlefield manual about how to lead change. You have no choice but to lead change today. And in fact, if you look at the vacuum of leadership around the world, politically, internationally, in business, we're looking for great leaders. We think you can teach those skills and you can accentuate those skills. Uh, Scott Miller and I have had the honor of working with some of the greatest CEOs in history, some of the greatest politi political leaders in history, six Nobel Prize winners, uh, 10 billionaires, some of the great history, uh, the great CEOs of history. And we take all those lessons and unpack it in the leadership campaign. What it really is, it talks through the steps over about 11 steps of what do you do if you're actually going to run a political campaign, but you're the CEO of, of a company. Today, 49% of a company's brand and reputation come down to the CEO. 49% of what that CEO says or doesn't say, when they're prepared, when they're not prepared, how they look, how they act, how much credibility they have on Wall Street, among their employees, among all their key constituents. So we talk in the first two chapters about how to think strategically, how to decide you're going to be a leader. You have to decide you're going to be a leader, a change leader, and how to think plan and act as an insurgent. How, in the second section of the book, how to prepare strategically to gather your kitchen cabinet, to begin to communicate inside out, because all the great CEOs communicate from within their organization. And next, we talk about how to communicate strategically, how to announce your candidacy, how to define your values as a leader, to define what the stakes of change are, to define what the future looks like. Because the best leaders in the world, the best leaders we've had an honor, the honor of working with, have all been able to define the future. Next, we talk about how to play offense, how to gain control, gain momentum, control the dialogue, and then how to manage crisis, because you will have a crisis in any organization, in any, in any part of our lives, we can have a crisis. So how do you prepare for it? How do you practice dealing with that crisis? And how do you play offense once you're in the crisis? Because often our worst days are our best days. Often the worst day we have <laughs> becomes the best day. And if you can pivot off that and play offense, you have tremendous advantage. And then finally, we talk about how to run your own leadership campaign. We have a, a, a change workshop for leaders, a change leadership and innovation workshop over a couple hours. Come to our website, www.playoffense.com. Get the book, the books, or talk to us about your, your needs in terms of change leadership and innovation. We, we, we jumpstart some of the biggest companies in the world and smaller companies with this two or three hour change leadership and innovation workshop. I'm David Moore. It's good to be with you. www.playoffense.com. Thank you.